you still adding the bank statement details into your spreadsheet manually then this video is definitely for you so hello all welcome back to Pabli connect and in this video we are going to understand how to extract bank statement data to Google Sheets using an AI agent so like you I also used to manually extract the details from bank statement and add them into Google Sheets but this is such a time-consuming and an error-prone task so to solve this problem I've simply created this amazing automation where what is going to happen is that as soon as I add the bank statement into my Google Drive automatically my AI agent is going to extract the details from that bank statement and add them into Google Sheets so to do this we are simply going to create a connection between Google Drive my AI agent which is open AI and Google Sheets and to create this connection without knowing any programming or coding language we are going to use Pabli connect it is an amazing automation software so if you also want to create this amazing automation for your own business then and for that you have to come with me towards my screen. Welcome to my screen. So in this video, I'll show you how to build an AI agent that extract key details from bank statements like the account numbers, transactions and balances and automatically organizes them into your spreadsheet. So whether you're handling finances, audits or expense tracking, this automation will save you hours of manual work. So let's dive in and turn complex financial documents into structured data with the help of an AI. So to do this, we are simply going to use Pabli connect and if you also want to create this amazing automation then for that you have to watch this tutorial till the end so to do this i'm simply going to open a new tab and i'm just going to look for the landing page of pabli connect simply by searching pabli.com slash connect in my browser and now it is opening the landing page of pabli connect and now after opening this page we're going to get two options one is sign in and the another one is sign up for free so if you are a new user you can click on this sign up for free and you're going to get 100 of tasks free every month to explore the application but overhead I am an existing user so I'm simply going to click on this button which says sign in and once we're going to click on this sign in it is opening all Pabli apps and over here you can see all the tools and applications offered by Pabli but in today's video we are going to use Pabli connect because we are connecting different applications so I'm simply going to click on this access now right over here to access my Pabli connects account and once we begin to click on this access now it is opening the dashboard of my Pabli Connects account and over here we have to create our automation for that we are simply going to go towards this button which says create workflow and now it is asking me for the workflow name and the folder I want to save the workflow in so over here I want to save the workflow in this folder which is automations and on my dashboard you can see multiple folders which I have already created in which I save my workflows so if you also want to create a new folder you can go towards this create new folder button and create your own I have already created multiple so I am just going to save my my workflow in one of these only which is automation and now I'm just going to name my workflow as this extract bank statement data into Google Sheets using an AI agent and then we are simply going to click on this button which says create and once we begin to click on this create it is opening the most important window for automation which is our workflow window so this is the most important window because we have trigger an action in this trigger and actions are the two main principles on which our workflow is going to run trigger means when this happens and action means do this so by this you can understand that the action are response towards the commands given by our trigger and that's the particular reason that we can have only a single trigger but multiple actions following the commands of our trigger in a particular workflow and to get started I'm simply going to select my trigger application so for my trigger application I'm simply going to select it as Google Drive so I'm just going to search for Google Drive and select it and now for the trigger event I'm simply going to select it as new file in a specific folder and now we simply have to click on this button which says connect and now it is asking me to add a new connection or select an existing connection so if you have already connected your Google Drive account, you can go towards this select existing connection and then save. But if you haven't, you have to follow me, click on add a new connection. And now we have to click on this blue button which says sign in with Google. And once we're going to click on this blue button, Pabli is asking me to select my Gmail account with the help of which I'm just going to connect my Google Drive. So I'm simply going to select my Gmail account with the help of which I'm just going to connect my Google Drive account. And now Pabli is asking me for some permissions. So I'm just going to click on this allow and give Pabli all the permissions it is asking for because my data is secure with Pabli you can also click on this allow Pabli is safe and once we begin to click on this allow yes you can see with this we have successfully connected our Google Drive account with our Pabli connects workflow and now it's asking me to select the folder so as you can see the name of my folder is bank statements so I'm simply going to select the same folder right over here but you have to keep in mind that the folder which you're selecting should be a shareable one so what do I mean by shareable one so you have to go towards the folder name share and then once again towards this share and over here the general access should be anyone with the link and editor so it is a really 
really important step to keep the general access as anyone with the link and editor otherwise your AI agent will not be able to read the documents so as you can see that I've successfully given the general access so now I can select my folder right over here and after doing this we are simply going to click on this save and send test request but before clicking on the save and send test request I'll just let you know that Google Drive is a pooling based application so pooling based application means that these application will not check for new data instantly they're going to take some amount of time to check for the new data and over here in the Google Drive case it is saying the trigger will check for new data in 10 minutes so once I'm just going to click on the save and send test request probably is going to capture the last response or the latest response made in my Google Drive account so what we're going to do is first we're going to do the test submission and then only we're going to click on the save and send test request so to do the test submission I'm simply going to add the bank statement right over here so as you can see that this is the bank statement PDF so I'm simply going to add it right over here and as you can see that we have successfully uploaded this bank statement and I'm just going to put my workflow and click on the save and send test request so that probably can capture the response of the same and as you can see that probably has captured the response for the same bank statement so yes with this we have successfully completed our trigger step and now whenever I'm just going to upload a new file in the specific folder automatically within 10 minutes the workflow is going to get triggered so if you want to increase or reduce this time you can go towards this three dots set trigger time and set your trigger time right from here I'm just going to keep it as 10 minutes only and move on further now I'm just going to move on towards my action steps so for my action application I'm just going to select it as my AI agent which is open AI because what I want is I want to extract the bank statement data right so that is the reason that I'm just going to select my AI agent right over here which is open AI so I'm just going to search for open AI and select it and now for the action event I'm simply going to select it as extract content from PDF slash image and click on this connect and now it is asking me to add a new connection or select an existing connection so if you have already connected your open AI account with your public connects workflow you can simply click on this select existing connection and then save but if you haven't you have to follow me click on add a new connection and now it is asking me for the token and to get this token we are simply going to follow the help text and it is saying kindly visit your open AI API key page to get the API key that you need to enter here so I'm simply going to go towards my open AI API key page to get the API key and after coming over here towards this API key page I'm just going to go towards this create new secret key and enter my key name which is extract bank statement data and then I'm just going to simply select the project and click on this create secret key button and now my key has been created so I'm simply going to copy this key and then we're going to paste this key right over here in our workflow and after pasting this key I'm simply going to click on this button which says save and with this we have successfully connected our OpenAI account with our Pabli Connects workflow and now it is asking me to select the OpenAI model so I'm simply going to select it as GPT-40 mini you can select any another of your choice and now it is asking me to enter the pdf urls we are simply going to enter the pdf url right over here but we are not going to enter it manually or by copy pasting it but instead we are going to map it so you must be wondering what is mapping so mapping is a method by Pabli which means inserting the data from the previous step and as you know our previous step was the trigger step where we selected google drive as our trigger application so we are simply going to map the details from the response of our trigger application only and as soon as we begin to map these details automatically my details will turn dynamic and change with every new response response received so I'm just going to simply map this web content link right over here to map this PDF URL now we're going to move on forward it is asking me for the prompts over here I'm just going to extract the details with the help of the structured output but the prompt is the required field so I'm simply going to give a really simple prompt right over here which is extract me the details from the given PDF all right so I'm simply going to enter this prompt which is extract me the details from given PDF so I'm just going to enter this prompt right over here and after entering this prompt we're going to move on forward over here I'm just going to enter the structured output JSON object so to enter the structured output JSON object we don't require any programming or coding language we simply have to follow this important notes and it is saying to generate the structured output JSON object navigate to this URL so I'm simply going to go towards this URL right over here and now we simply have to click on this button which says generate and now without knowing any programming or coding language which is going to generate the JSON schema with the help of this prompt so I'm just going to give this a prompt so to give this a prompt first I'm just going to open my spreadsheet and now I'm just going to open my notepad and over here in the notepad we have to enter all the details which we want to extract so what is the first detail which I want to extract it's the account holder so I'm just going to enter account holder right over here and then we're going to move on further now after entering this I'm just going to go towards a new line and over here I'm just going to give the format so the format of this is type equals to short text so I'm just going to give it right over here and after entering this we're going to move on further and then in the next line I'm just going 
going to give the description which is extract and provide the full name of the account holder. Now we're going to move on further and give this prompt for all of the details which I want to extract one by one. And as you can see that I've simply entered my prompt and I'm just going to copy this prompt right from here. And after copying this prompt, I'm simply going to paste it right over here in the structured output. And now I'm just going to generate the JSON schema with the help of this prompt. So I'm simply going to click on this create right over here so that my AI agent can create me the JSON schema. So as you can see, the JSON schema has been created without knowing any line of programming or coding language. So I'm simply going to copy this and then we're going to paste it right over here in the structured output field. And after pasting this, we're going to move on further and I'm just going to click on this blue button which says save and send us request. And once we're going to click on this blue button, what is going to happen is that my AI agent is going to extract me all the details from this given document and further I'm just going to add that details into my spreadsheet. So we just have to wait for a few seconds till my AI agent is extracting me the details and giving me the details as a response right over here. So we just have to wait for a few seconds and as you can see the details have been extracted and given. So yes, now I'm just going to add these details into my spreadsheet. For that I'm just going to add another action step and now for the action application I'm simply going to select it as Google Sheets. So I'm just going to search for Google Sheets and select it. And now for the action event we are simply going to select it as add a new row and click on this connect. Now it is asking me to add a new connection or select an existing connection. So if you have already connected your Google Sheets account with your Public Connects workflow, you can simply click on this, select existing connection and then save. But if you haven't, you have to follow me, click on add a new connection and now we have to click on this blue button which says sign in with Google. And once we begin to click on this sign in with Google, Pabli is asking me to select my Gmail account. So I'm simply going to select my Gmail account with the help of which I'm just going to connect my Google Sheets. And now Pabli is asking me for some permissions once again. So I'm simply going to click on this allow and give Pabli all the permissions it is asking for because my data is secure with Pabli. And with this, we have successfully connected our Google Sheets account and now it's asking me to select the spreadsheet and the sheet. So as you can see, the name of my spreadsheet is Bank Statement Summary and the sheet is Sheet 1. So I'm just going to select the both right over here and after selecting this, I'm simply going to map all of these details one by one. Alright, so I'm simply going to map all of these details. First, we're going to start with the account holder. I'm just going to map it. We're going to move on further. I'm just going to map the account number. I'm just going to map rest of the details too. So over here, I have took these details as an example. Alright, you can use real bank statement too to get the response. And as you can see, I've simply entered all of these details. And now I'm just going to click on this save and send test request. And once we're going to click on this save and send test request, we have received the positive response that we have successfully added these details into our Google Sheets. And now I'm just going to open my Google Sheets and once we're going to open our Google Sheets, you can see the details have been added right over here automatically. That too without any manual intervention. So yes, with this we have successfully completed our workflow. And now what is going to happen is that whenever you add a new file in this specific folder within 10 minutes, the workflow is going to get triggered. OpenAI is going to extract the content from that same bank statement and add that into your Google Sheets all without any manual intervention. So yes, with this we have successfully completed this video and this workflow to. And now if you have any questions related to the video or the workflow, you can directly comment on this video. See you in the next video with many more automation tips everyone. Thank you for watching. So not only these applications, but with the help of Pabli Connect, you can connect many more applications. So now if you have any doubts, you can reach us at support at the rate If you have any queries, you can reach us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issues, you can follow this URL. And now go try this amazing automation for your own business too, because right now we are offering a free trial of Pabli Connect.